G'day everybody, and welcome to Kit Hack Model Club, a game that I'm sure a number of you have probably never heard of. But this is um, basically RC scaled Kerbal Space Program, uh, made by one of the original developers of Kerbal Space Program, Harvester, and already has functional multiplayer. But I managed to get myself signed up to the open beta, which is what this is, uh, with the early access release coming in the next week or so, I think. And once the early access release is out, I plan to drag Cat back into this so that we can shoot at each other in RC planes and rockets and other things. Because I think that'll be a lot of fun and it's something we've both wanted to do for so, so long. Now, I managed to do one tutorial. <laughs> before uh, getting this far. So maybe I'll go back and do them again quickly. Uh, maybe even do the introduction one today, just so that I know the basic controls and don't completely suck. Well, don't fail at this even worse than usual. Perfect day to go flying. No winds, clear skies, let's go. Model plane is ready to go. Pick it up. And throw it as far as I can. Whee! And it looks like it wants to pitch up. And smash. Cool. Hit the retrieve button. Let's go over to the workshop and fix it. Uh, I've made a little command for chat. For anyone who is interested in this, just kit hack. That's got the Steam link. I'm not sponsored at all for this. I'm just really excited for genuine multiplayer Kerbal Space Program like game. Because <laughs> Capac and I have wanted for so long to be able to play proper multiplayer. Like this has even little scenario things that you can do, little goals and missions that are set up in multiplayer already. Ah. <sighs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I've been watching this one since I heard about it. Well, saw it on a um, Matt Lown video ages ago. I unfortunately missed out on its predecessor, which apparently, I think, anyone who bought the predecessor gets to... Um, got a copy of this. So the predecessor being Balsa Flying Club or something? Okay. Add control surfaces. And I can... Wait, nope. I don't want that there. No. No. Let... Oh. I did that terribly forgot what the alignment key was. Oh well. It'll be fine. <laughs> okay, let's... Uh... <laughs> let's try that again. Full force and throw! What? Oh, right, I'm not able to throw from here. Oops. <laughs> uh, here we go. Now I can throw with shift and launch. And then I can fly. I can see how far I can make it fly with its wonky control surfaces. Can I get it into the water on the far side? I doubt it. Can I get it into... Nope. Plonk. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Thanks, Chiller, for the prime sub. Thanks, Fulgid, for the six months. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ticho, for the Prime as well. 
Thanks, Tun Rider Fanboy, for the five months. Thank you very much. There we go. That's the first tutorial. Let's see what the second one is, because I, I am going to need tutorials here, I think. Use the challenge board for scenarios and missions. Put away the controller. Uh, basic aircraft controls. Go. Upgrade the Firth Flyer aircraft. I do like that they've called the Flyer the Firth Flyer. Pick a plane and toss it like before. Yeah. Oh, Codon, absolutely am I I'm gonna have RC fights with Capac. Probably TFE as well, if I can convince him to. I suspect it'll need to be people with lower ping for best performance. But yeah. I am super, 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 super excited about this. What a landing. Alright. Drop it. Go back to the workshop. And add some power. And thank you, Codon. Thank you for 31 months. This airplane needs a battery, motor, and propellers before it can fly on its own. Place motors on the wings of the plane. Where shall I place the motors on the wings of the plane? Control setup is very much KSP, which is a good thing, I think. I place the battery inside the fuselage. Do I need to pop that off? So I've probably just totally balked the center of gravity. Oh, it's not going to let me fix that, is it? Uh, where's my symmetry mode? Oh, uh, why? Why will that no longer snap there? How have I broken this already? <laughs> I was all happy that I got this to snap inside, and now I can't get the nose to snap back on. Hmm. Motors are on backwards? Oh, that could explain it. Hey, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> no, that's not all the basic parts. I haven't got the battery in. I don't know how to get the battery inside the fuselage. Oh, there's part morphing. Cool. It's one of the things in the video I saw of this that first introduced me to the game. Um was that they they figured out a way to deal with the whole wobbly physics side of things uh, with joining parts, and it's only during a collision that the parts get stressed in certain ways, I think it was. But basically, no wobbliness, none of that nonsense here. Now, why can't we get a battery to go inside the fuselage and then have the nose cone stick on. I wonder what's going on there. Hey, that worked. I don't know why it worked that time. But cool. Let's go. Oh, rename. No nose. No, not. What? What? 
He's going with it. Uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, Weird. Um, when I press space, it takes me back a character in the naming box. <laughs> what? what? Why? Why can't I exit? Oh, there I can. Press control and R to start the engines. Throw! My engines have started but my propellers didn't do what I think. What? Why didn't my propellers start? What did I do wrong there? Press control R. I put up the throttle. Do I have to connect? Is there something it didn't show me to do? No, 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 I fixed the engine being backwards. Oh, I think, I think it may be um, forcing me to do stuff so that I have to go back and fix it. Hang on. Enable the center of mass indicator. Use the offset tool to move the battery. Oh, that's a wing. Yeah, that's the wings. How am I going to select the battery? That. Maybe about there? Yeah, that'll do. Give it another try. Uh, I'll, I'll check. I don't think... I've definitely done something wrong with the, um, <laughs> with the motors. All right. Yep. Game. Thank you. Try the props again. Because they're snapping to that point on the thing, which is what they did last time. But they're not. Duplicating. Weird. Anyway. Let's get inside and move this battery forward. Nope, wrong bit. <laughs> nope, what the, why? I will eventually work out these quirks and figure out how to select the thing I'm trying to select. Yeah, maybe that'd help. So the props can actually spin and they don't collide with the wing. Here we go. Zoom. Oh, 
Why through the waypoints? Where are the waypoints? Oh dear. Hello, waypoints. <laughs> Thanks, Alias. Thank you for the gift sub. I don't know where the waypoints are. Oh, the blue balls above me. Higher, higher, higher. Come on, come on. Get through the thing. Oh yeah, got one of them, finally. <laughs> so I think there are a few missions like this one on the mission board, which I can look at after this, after I get through the next tutorial. Oh, 16% battery power left. Oh, I missed... Oh. Twelve percent battery power. Ten percent. We're gonna be a glider soon. Eight percent. Three percent. Zero percent. Down I come. <laughs> yeah, they do look like me's walking around, don't they? I don't think I... I think I moved the battery too far forward. I'm about to really hard. Oof. Yeah, totally. Natural pilot. Right, car controls. Let's go. Walk over to the Jeep to fast travel. It's like the trunk to review your signs. Mudmog or Rodant? I'm gonna go the Mudmog. <laughs> well, that's about where I was expecting to go to. <laughs> In theory, the plane could have a receiver and receive a battery that is just not showing. Yeah. I wouldn't worry about, like, from a gameplay perspective, do you really want your vehicle that just completely ran out of power to, um also be something you can no longer see or control. A bit more fun to be able to glider it. Dr. Taro, I think you're in the significant minority there. Oops. Click on the wheel hubs to inspect them. Multifunction wheel hub. Most parts have unique properties that can that you can modify in this menu. Try lowering the suspension stiffness. Great, now let's drive again.
That's pretty stable. Uh, there's already a Steam Workshop for vehicles. Uh, you can't... Uh, during the beta, you can't get the Steam Workshop stuff and download it, but you can upload to it. Uh, so you can... Um, you can already... So when it releases in early access, there'll probably be a whole ton of stuff on the workshop already. Thanks, Trevenator. Thank you for the prime sub. Do a few laps around the track. We will take your best lap to score. Okay. Uh, how am I going to see it? Uh, I swear there's I swear I've done some I've done something bad I don't know how to get back my regular third person view ow ah here we go that's better Ah, much better. Yeah, I was pressing V to change view mode and it wasn't changing it where I needed it to. Oh, I've lost a wheel. I might need a new car. Can I repair it? Those do not sound healthy, those cars. Uh... Oh, there we go. I'll reset it this time. travel back if you're happy with your time. I'm never going to be happy with my time. Especially just going around a circle where I just hear constant crashing sounds. Alright, that'll do. Where's my car? Let's go back. I want to fly things. The sound system isn't super happy with that. <laughs> okay, tutorial's complete. Let's see what these other missions are. So we've got glider golf. Get your glider to the end of the course in as few throws as possible. Rocket motors are allowed for an extra boost, but you can only use them once. Raiders Ridge... Battle endless waves of combat aircraft until you inevitably hit the ground. Then we've got a multiplayer challenge. Take a short flight along the Bay Lookout Trail, ending with a stunt maneuver through a narrow through narrow rocks. We suggest you bring a small aircraft along for this one. Best your friends by destroying less aircraft in the process. <laughs> All right. I need to change vehicle. Put away the mud mock. Uh, let's start with no vehicle. Let's see what we can make for a glider. Oh, there are a 
a lot of options. Let's go with this, I think, for now. Uh, thanks, Yonaton. Um, yeah, I'm hoping I'll actually get some time while Capax away and I'm not doing assertive acquisitions that I'll actually be able to um, get more of the tutorials done. You can create smooth shapes for your vehicle body or fuselage using a combination of bulkheads and adaptive sections. Adaptive fuselage sections will conform smoothly to match the shape of the bulkheads placed at either end. Ah. Use the offset tool to adjust the length of the sections by moving the adjacent bulkheads. You can also rotate bulkheads and sections to create curving forms. All bulkhead sections. That's a really cool way of doing it. How do I change the shape of this bulkhead? Okay, so that's just changing the, the shape of the, the thing itself. How do I actually change the shape of the bulkhead, though? Is that something I do before placement? Oh, wait, here's the bulkhead shape. Oh, okay. So I can just place down segments and then I can go like, I want to change the bulkhead to this shape. And it'll conform. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't want to conform to that one. So that's roughly the same as that. So if I, if I put that there, then put that on there. Yeah, okay. Cool. Thanks, Daz. Thank you so much for the 27 months of tier 3. Thank you very, very, very much. Um, Assertive Acquisitions is on a break while Capac goes to Japan. That's what's happening with Assertive Acquisitions. Well, it's not on a break yet. Because I've got slightly more of an episode than I expected to get out of the last episode. Oops. Yeah. Okay, that is not what I want to do with that. But now I kind of understand what I'm doing. Maybe. So if I go to move and stretch this out... Or longer fuselage segment. And then if I want to create a tailpiece, what I probably want to do is maybe shrink this a little bit with height. A little bit with width. And then I can grab another fuselage segment. How do I get the end caps to work? That's what I'll figure out now. Uh, Capac's trip to Japan is with his family for fun. Oh, wait a second. If I put that, does that then interact with this? No. What if I put that on there? Ah. that then allow me to go and go to one of these cap pieces? No. Why is the cap piece not working? How's this supposed to work? Small end cap for capping the ends of little things. Helpful. Leading edge, edge loop R0. Huh? What? 
I do not know what that is for. Maybe I should start with their default vehicle. Let's get the no-nos back. And... What can we do here? Let's up the motors. And batteries. So, propulsion, transmission, we've got... Max power 252 watts, 460, 70, 775, or 1815. So I've got electric motors, or I've got petrol motors. Hmm. I might go the biggest electric motor. Yeah. Don't know if I've got that back to front. Giving me a warning. Motor not connected. Which suggests to me that this is the wrong way around. Yes. <laughs> yes. I know I forgot about the glider golf bit. But I saw opportunity to put massive engines on small things, so that's happening. Now let's have a look at batteries. Propulsion transmissions. Uh, weapons, utility, undercarriage. What batteries have we got? 21.8 battery. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's a big battery. Maybe not. That is also a big battery. That might be able to fit. If I stick it on the wing. That's going to do some weird stuff to this thing. Let's try. <laughs> Yes, yes. All right. Oh. Yes. It flies okay, actually. <laughs> Let's go under the bridge. Holy cow, it flies fast. It flies really fast! Jeez! <laughs> Going 170 kilometers an hour in an RC plane. 210. Battery life looks okay. I'm only at 92% power after that. Two hundred and twenty. Two hundred and thirty. Two thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. We're gonna go up. Pull up. Oh, there's the Pasha over there. I mean, um, crashed container ship.
think a lot of things are struggling with how fast I'm going. 252. Imagine driving along a road and seeing someone's RC plane buzz you at this sort of speed. That would be very unsettling. I wonder how much faster I could go if I went to the petrol ones. I think that would be. Oh! <laughs> Oops. Cannot recover vehicle right now. Oh dear. Oh no. I think I've broken the game. I am falling. I'm falling and I can't recover the vehicle. Um. <laughs> Oops. Yes, to the center of the earth. All right, I'm curious about this glider golf thing. Can I mess with this? Yeah. Now to make better glider. Let's increase our span to maximum. It's cord. Ah. Yeah. Center of mass is there. Do I not have a center of lift? This display shows you a graphic representation of how your aircraft is expected to behave in flight. The nose angle scale measures the amount of tendency for the craft to pull towards or push away from a straight line path into it. Blue areas of the graph indicate angles at which your plane will naturally pull itself straight again. Amber areas indicate angles where you'll encounter forces pushing the nose away from the wind. Okay. 
what happens on that graph if I do this? Interesting. Ah, uh, yep, you can angle the wings back. Uh, if I go back to place and I do this and I do sweep, I can do this. Which has made it incredibly stable. Um, what I was trying to work out Oh, I've got to get rid of the battery part. So the battery in here. Let's just see if this goes. Center of mass is kind of... I just... I really want a center of lift indicator, but I don't know how to get a center of lift indicator. Oh well. Let's go. Fire golf. Start game over here. Oh, that's a long way away. We gotta teleport. Where did it say the launch, the start, the thing was from? Uh, no, this said it mustn't have a battery to do the thing. Twin Bay again. doesn't have any control services. Can I modify it here or do I have to go back again? I think I have to go back again. I can now live out all my RC dreams my wallet wouldn't allow? Yep. Yep. What? Why can't I? Can't go back in the workshop. I think I broke it. Oh, let's just give it a go. Are uh, you? You can do. You can play this with an RC controller. You can, they've seemed to have it set up for a whole bunch of different controller types. Uh, end mission. Yes. Let's just... See if ending the mission allows me to go and change the thing. Because I don't have control surfaces, so I can't do very well without control surfaces. <laughs> kind of forgot that important part. Nope. Realign, there we go. I want them on the wings? Nah, I'll just keep them on the tailplane.
Let's go. Do golf. Oh, yeah. I can put a one time rocket on it. <laughs> Okay, this very much wants to nose down. And I now have to run and catch up to it. Uh, let's end the mission. Let's recover the thing. Let's make it better. This is pretty bad. is pretty bad so trying to guess where the thing is it's trying to nose down which means I want this to be kind of level so I probably want the wings to be pretty much at the center of mass which without the battery is actually quite a long way back Let's see it. I'm just curious how this flies. Oh. Not well. Could raise the wings so the body hangs below them. Uh, yeah. Just want to quickly do this just to remind myself of what way I want the wings to be for this thing. This is more like it. Okay. Okay. How do we add the rocket? Is that a weapon? Fifty cal magazine for an RC. What? Uh, headlights, struts, beams, ballast. Passenger seat, undercarriage, propulsion. Rocket. How big is this rocket? So if I just slap a rocket on here... Let's see what happens. That is the wrong way round. But let's see what happens. <laughs> How do I light the rocket? Oh. How do I light the rocket? see if I can find that in the controls. I'm not seeing an obvious make rocket go now button. Toggle group. Maybe I have to set up a group for it.
Uh, give me any info in the thing. Do I need an existence system? I, I don't know. Doesn't look like there's an ignition system in the propulsion section. Why is the arrow pointing from the front of it, pointing way off to the side? Why is it not straight? What? I can see this going poorly. Boats, wings, fairings, cabins. Yeah, I don't see anything that ignites it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm deliberately putting this in front of the the tail because I'm interested to see if it does cook it off. Maybe a weapon? No. Hmm. I'm missing something. What am I missing? What am I missing? So the sections we have are structure, cabins, fairings, wings, boat, propulsion, undercarriage, utility, weapons and crew. Weapons is, as it says, weapons. Uh, utility doesn't have anything that seems to light it because it's beams, struts, and like trusses. Cow catcher for when you make your remote control train. LED lights. I wonder if I do need to have a battery to make this no, but I can't, I can't have a battery to do the golf course thing, yet the golf course thing lets me have a rocket. So I can't, I imagine there's got to be a way to do it without, uh, without electronics. Hey, Zyf, thanks so much for 52 months. Yeah, I'm really excited by this game. Oh, here we go. Ignition. Channel T1. How do I channel T1? How do I send on T1? There's a little switch up there at the top. Uh, settings. Toggle channel. Okay, one. Cool. Alright, here goes. Ooh. And... Rocket! <laughs> oh, amazing. Oh, that could not have gone better worse. <laughs> Turns out I had it around the right way the first time. Let's try that again. And go. And go. <laughs> this feels like cheating for a glider. Oh. 
But if it's allowed, let's see what we can do with the golf course. I guess. Sink the tanker. I might reach the tugboat. I don't think I'll reach the tanker. Oh, the fishing trawler, I should say. Is it a fishing trawler? Yeah, it looks like a fishing trawler. Couldn't see the crane when I said tugboat. Yay! Successful landing. Alright. Activate the mission. Glad to go. Let's go. Ready. I'm so looking forward to playing Glider Golf against Capac as we each iterate terribly on our designs. Uh, I don't know if my rocket's going to be reset. Looks like it's not. And it is not. How do I reset my rocket? Thanks, Steinmei. Thank you for 29 months. Yeah, it's definitely spent. I, um... Oh, palm tree. Refresh it. I was able to refill it by looking at it. Oh. Was I? Actions. Stop engines. Spec vehicle. Nope. If I go into... No, I've got to cancel the mission. I go in here. And then we go back out. It comes back fresh. Now let's go. Thanks, Mavelite. Thank you for the tier 2 sub for 33 months. Thank you very much. How's this game shaping up? Quite well. <laughs> I, I'm... The fact that they've already got a few little, uh... Quests to do in it. And it looks like they should... Like they've got... Well, and they've already got multiplayer ones in there to, as well. Bodes well for how this game's going to shape up. Alright, let's get height. Three, two, one, throw, and blast. Oh, no, no, don't point down. Okay. And I got a hole in one. Uh, the mission here is Glider Golf. Get to the pin with as few throws as possible. And you're allowed a rocket. <laughs> Makes it significantly easier. But I now have to try and crash land this thing at the pin. Nope. Which is not easy. No! Oh. Now, how do I get myself there quickly? Can I fast travel to it? No.
wonder if there, there's probably a way that I'm missing that allows you to fast move along this faster. No, it doesn't look like you can actually just drive the vehicles. Like the full-sized vehicles, just the RC ones. I guess if I... I mean, that wasn't too hard to run along, I suppose. Let's not throw it too far. Yay! Start next hole. Throw from here. But now I don't have a rocket. Unless there's a way I can refresh this rocket. Unload ammo, reload. Refuel, recharge. No. No, no options there. I well, guess I have to see how far, it, how far I can manage to go without the rocket now. <laughs> Set up a rubber band launch system. Yeah, need need to have a need to get someone who's really good at javelin to do my throw for me. Uh, it doesn't let me... The, uh, there's a limit of one rocket. For the mission. If you have more than one rocket, you don't... You don't qualify to do the mission. Same if I have a battery on board, I don't qualify to do the mission. Definitely needs to... I would have thought I'd be able to replace the rocket between things, but apparently not. And struts too. Yes. If ro if booster rockets don't solve your problem, then struts will. closer so that I can do that in the next throw. Oh, in the bush. Ow. Maybe save the rocket engine for longer. Yeah. The longer holes is probably, you probably want to tactical, be tactical about it when you use the rocket. Huzzah! Four throws. I wonder what par is. Oh no. Oh no, this is the one you need the rocket for. Gotta get up the hillside. Well, well, that, that actually makes... I really like that they've got the rocket as an option then. Because it's very tactical. That adds, that adds a nice little element to the competition. Still doable with the throws, but it's going to take a few of them to get up high enough. No. No. Ooh. 
that good? Almost. Not quite. No! <laughs> no. Stay there. Stop sliding. Stay up there, please. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Thought I'd snap my wing off if I did that. What? How is that not a hole complete? What? Um, it. I may have broken it. Saying the throw location, I think is down there. It's telling me to go back to the start of this hole. Uh, so, let's end the mission. Uh, let's go back to. Uh, how am I going to quick travel back? I just quick travel from the map? Yes! Good, it lets me do that. Right, let's... Inside. Happy with the rocket. I could possibly m try and make the whole plane a bit longer. Is there more wing I can do? Uh, probably not. AF1 mod wing. Oh, well, maybe. Ooh. There is a more wing. Interesting. Let's try it. All of the span. <laughs> uh, this is going to be so dumb. I love it. Bit of sweep. Uh... Bit more taper. All right, let's just fly this here and see how badly this goes. Ah, uh, no, there are no ailerons on the wings. Uh, just the tail plane has them. Has uh, any control surfaces. <laughs> Oops. Let's move the wings back a little bit. Center of lift is a little too far in front of the center of mass. Let's try that again. Okay. 
I've achieved semi-stable flight. Yay! Yeah, it probably needs a longer fuselage for the length of wingspan here. It's a little bit short. But, it's working. <laughs> if it, <laughs> it, it is technically working. I do not have much ability to roll. It's a lemon U2, yeah? I'm, I'm actually really happy that that works like that. See you, babes. Hey, Blum. Uh, hi. Yes, I could put a control surface on. Uh, where's control surface again? Wings? Well, maybe if I just put them. I probably don't need them any better than that. Which I probably do. There we go. I can now roll. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Shadow Void Claw, I have heard of Flyout. Um, it... From what I saw, struck a bit more of the technical than I was ready for, uh, in terms of technical to fun sort of balance. Uh, certainly for people who are very familiar with RC planes and doing this sort of stuff, I think it's very, very much in their wheelhouse, but it's a, it's a bit more technical than I'm capable of. Should probably put a little bit of dihedral on the main wings. But it is very stable anyway. Yeah. All right, let's give this a go. I need to go back inside to get my rocket refreshed. Let's go play some golf. See if I can do any better. 
Why do I... I was about to say, why do I keep walking the wrong way? I don't think we need to answer that question. Yep, saving the rocket for the third hole. Here we go. I think I need to throw this one a bit more horizontal. Oh no! There are more collisions on the trees than I thought there would be. <laughs> Hope. That is unfortunate. Oh, can I, can I move out of the bushes? No, not that far around. Turn back. Oh. <laughs> Seriously? Indeed, Sif, your fancy throwing stick has boomeranged on us. Here we go. This is what I was trying to get. Much better. Nah, test unit, uh, the mission doesn't allow for more than one rocket. You're only allowed one. One rocket, no batteries. I'm gonna try flowing it, flowing it, throwing it a bit more flat. That didn't seem any more flat. What has happened to my camera? The camera went weird. You have a car with a winch to pull the model gliders up in the air. That's pretty cool. Here we go. That's a better throw. As far as I'm... I think it said one rocket. Oh. Man. As soon as I start trying to put some roll on it, I just lose all control. It's like, yep, I'm going that way now. Yeah, no, no, I'm not changing my mind. No, I am going that way. That's all I'm going to do. Not going anywhere else. Oh, no. Oh, poop. Should have thrown it shorter. Please tell me that counted. Oh, seven throws. So bad. Invalid throw? What is it supposed to throw from? Uh. Such a good throw, too. There 
There we go. That's so much better. Uh, Emery, I don't have any idea when I will next play more of the Underground Alone stuff. Uh, there are... While I'm playing Station Ears on Fridays, I'm happy to continue doing that because I'm really enjoying that at the moment. The sort of uh, play style that I just always plan to do here and there when I felt motivated to. So yeah, there'll be more station ears uh, this Friday. But yeah, my my some of you may have noticed that my streaming schedule has changed this week, in that I started streaming at about eight o'clock today. Eight o'clock my time. Yeah, Frencher, I think there's a lot of experimentation that would be doable for this scenario, especially as all you're really trying to do is, um, like, you can test this so quickly at the base to see whether you're getting further distance if you don't use the rocket. So it's a really easily testable, quickly iterable thing so we could see, like, how the wings all work. I think... Oh, no. <laughs> My plane gets reset. Uh, Tommaso, Toby started daycare a while ago. It's the change is that I'm now the one taking him there. All right, here we go. Rocket time. And then we find out there's a longer hole next. I think I have more rocket than I need. I've been thinking about the multiplayer in Station Ears a lot, but I've got no idea when that's going to work. I don't have any estimates on any of that stuff. I'm quite happy with the games that I'm playing and the way I'm playing them at the moment. So I'm not... I don't have any big changes coming other than the scheduled ones. Capac, TFE and I still haven't decided what we're going to play on Mondays or even how these Monday streams are going to work. Because I don't really want to stream from 10 until 2. Oh, I'm in the ground. Which is when Capac would most like to. <laughs> that time of the day really doesn't suit me. Makes it really hard to get editing done and do all that sort of stuff. So I don't, I don't like starting late in the day and finishing late in the day. I prefer to do one thing, then do the next thing. Am I going to hit by the car? Oi, car. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. Ah. Works like farming sim. You just get pushed out of the way. Yay! How many more holes are there? Is it actually nine? Or is it 18? 18 seems like a lot. It's six. Ah, cool. Oh, 
Would there be technique in doing a short throw to the edge of the hill there and then trying to glide the rest of the way down from it? This forest is not friendly. Is there a grassy path down? Yeah, it does not look to be. I might make it though. I think I'm going to make it anyway. It's like bouncing out of the hole, the hole in one. Come on. Is there a teleport down to there? No. Dang it. That. Oh. Felt like such a good throw. Stolen from me at the last moment. It's my plane disintegrated on landing. <laughs> landing. In inverted commas. Alright. Grab that. Last power. And throw. Hooray! Rose. So mean. Surely if part of my plane makes it there, it counts. I'm gonna end up in the drink, aren't I? Yep. Go along this way a little way. Get some height. <laughs> Plane built by Boeing. Uh. <laughs> Does seem apt for this. I wonder. I hope Capac can get his head around this game fairly quickly. He did do relatively well with the planes in Kerbal Space Program when we were playing it together. Because what I don't want is for him to find it so difficult that I actually find it that we don't end up doing much together. Come on. No! Let's just do a short throw to get a bit more height. No, no, don't, don't go off the edge. Oh. Yeah, I was thinking about the island, but I'm not sure I'll get any further than the extra height that this gives me.
This looks a bit better. I think this is going to be better. Yeah, that's my hope, Aaron, is that um, they've balanced the game so that you can slap something together that's functional quite easily, and then it comes down to how you decide to finesse it so that you can get going quickly, but there's a really high skill ceiling if you want to perfect it, which is what the original Kerbal Space Program really, really nailed, was getting that really high skill ceiling, but equally a um well that was an unexpected outcome <laughs> how do I get over there um how do I fast travel over to the island don't actually like, there's fast travel to these locations, but there's no location on the island. I fast travel to the hole? Nope. Let's <laughs> build a plane that can carry. I don't think I can get picked up by a plane. Uh, this this seems like something they might need to adapt a change for launch uh, I think you need to be able to fast travel or at least they need to make it more obvious what you need to do to fast travel to where your plane has dropped Because I can fast travel to any of these markets like this. But then I can't actually get to my plane. Unless I'm missing something. Which is entirely possible. I don't know how... I don't know how to get over there. I can't go through the water. Nope, no bridge. It's a completely disconnected island. <laughs> Thanks, Omni5. Thank you for <laughs> just shy of two years. Thank you very much. And thanks, Monomic. Thank you for the prime sub. How's it going? Uh, has anyone who's played Balsa... Is there a... Was there a similar map system there? Otherwise, I think I have to cancel this mission. So I'm stuck. Report and issue. No, it's just taking me to Discord. I'll deal with that after. I dare say more than my myself, more than me. <laughs> I, I'm more than I'm not the only person who's run into this problem. All right, uh, we will have to end that mission. And let's load up the no-nos. And add a couple of auto cannons. Uh, 
As well as, what does the auto cannon take? I was placing the battery earlier this is the mode it should have gone to when i was doing battery movements but uh, i think it might have slightly bugged and didn't that makes sense Let's see how this flies, and then I'm going to try and do this dogfighting thing. Oh, forgot to start the engines! Whoops. <laughs> Oops, T. Some kick. I think I might need. Oh. Yep. 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 Let's uh, fix a couple of things. <laughs> we need some control surfaces here. these back a little bit. Maybe down. Right, let's try that. <laughs> Does this game have rotors? I don't think it does yet, but that doesn't mean they're not going to the sort of thing that I wouldn't be surprised if someone starts modding in movable parts. Okay. I am a bit nose down because I am currently trying to pitch up and I uh, might not want it. And now it's a boat. effects aren't bad. Actually, I think they're pretty good. Thanks, Cola Pup. Thank you for 43 months. Thank you very much. This is actually pretty cool. <laughs> I should probably retrieve it. Fix it. Right, let's see if that works. That did not work.
was not enough of a change. Um, that's not enough of a change. How much do I need to move these batteries? Rotate them as well. It's hanging out the bottom. <laughs> I don't think I made that better. Let's try this again. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> I made a remote control lawnmower. Yeah, there we go. Now I can control it. Oh, yeah. Terrorize some balloons. Some traffic. I need to slow down a little bit to get a better shot. Whoa! Okay. Now the controls are real twitchy. Yeah, let's shoot the barrage balloons. Wait, we think of. Pulled up too hard. <laughs> Oopsie. Raiders Ridge. Let's go. Destroy all of the enemy aircraft that get in your way. That's my takeoff point. Just fly from here. Raiders are approaching, get ready. Oh, this is when I need a different control system. Mouse and keyboard is not ideal. Thanks, get more. Thank you for 17 months. they have a lot more than me Chase view. Let's see. Uh, nope, that's not the view I want. That's probably a bit better to control from. Yeah, because I don't need to.
main challenge is making is getting good enough at flying that you can actually shoot each other. Come on, chase me! Maybe I can outmaneuver them. Stole it. No. <laughs> uh. Well, Raiders destroyed minus infinity. Wow. That that feels extra mean. The other ones. Well, let's have a look at this. All of the waypoints around the Bay Lookout Trail. Go to Bay Lookout location. Where is Bay Lookout location? It needs a nose cam. Either. I would certainly find that helpful. And away we go. Oh man. Okay, maybe not at full thrust this time. But maybe more thrust than that. Scrape on the ground. Oops. Oh, this is hard. I mean, I set up this vehicle terribly, but this is hard. <laughs> hey, Scalabion. Welcome, Raiders. Oh, boy. Have to wait till... There we go. Yeah, look. Why do my engines not start? Oh, wait. I know why. This is not gonna. Oh, oh, I made it. Sort of. <laughs> Close. Gross. Yeah, more maneuverability and probably a little, a lot less power. Because I'm. And probably no guns. Like, guns aren't really. Re oh, actually, guns might be beneficial because you can shoot each other down. <laughs> Whoa. 
whoa, 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 whoa. All the wrecks, how much would I have spent on planes? Uh, I'm gonna guess tens of thousands today. Quite a lot of wrecks. Hooray! I did a thing. I actually managed to do a thing. land safely? Well, I missed that memo. Let's see if I can land back at the airport. Actually. Is the color of parts durability? No, I think it's just the color of parts. the landing. Oh yeah. Here, did it. It seems unhappy. What was the other one? Flight time on a budget. How long can you stay in the air while spending no more than 150 bucks? The cheaper the vehicle, the better. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Uh, new. So tell me the. It does tell me the prices. Where's the total price? Down the bottom here. How expensive was my no nos? $1,321. Okay. 150 bucks is pretty, uh, cheap. Alright. Yeah, plan for a single engine. So, let's go... That one's a little bit cheaper. That's a little a bit more expensive. That's half the price of this one, but I'm going to go with this one because I think the aerodynamics are worth the cost. Now, propulsion. Wingbird. So this one's only got 70 watts of power, though. If I can get a single-engined vehicle... ...up to... <laughs> ...like flying... Wait. Cheaper prop. This one is 44, this one is 126. Okay, so it has to be the double. Patreon board. So, why are my categories gone? What did I do that broke the categories? So, I'm, I'm up to 80 already. And the max is 150. If I put this on, I'm at 148. 
How much is this? Oh, there we go. 30. Jeez. Chapter going to a little bulkhead. Which I'll then move back so that we can extend the fuselage with a single piece. If I can shrink the scale of this. Basically bring that to a point. And move it up. We've effectively got a single piece doing all the work back there. I don't know what to do about the front end. I think I'm probably going to need to move this. But... If we go fairings... Is there a nose cone that's going to work here? A zero? Nope. R1. How expensive is the R1? Five. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Sure, that'll work. Maybe. <laughs> I don't... Can I modify the size of the front of this other piece? I don't think I can modify that one. Oh, how expensive is this fairing compared to one of these? Ah, no, it's cheaper. I'm happy. Yeah, I've only got 15 bucks left for wings. That's tough. Uh, they're cheap though, thankfully. If I stick with the AF1 mod wing. It's only three per. I'm going to want to max the span because we're gliding here. So I want to use as little power as possible. I'm going to need that a lot further back. Down a bit. Rotate it up a bit. A little more down. A little more in. And let's get a little bit of sweep on it. And a bit more taper. Oh yeah. Now I need tail. <laughs> so we do it again with the AF1s on the tail. And all the control surfaces will be on the tail because I can't afford to put them anywhere else. <laughs> okay. This might work. Oh, do a V-tail for cheaper. Good idea. Let's try it.
something like that. Yeah, that might work. And then control surfaces on here. Hey, I'm already overpriced. I'm way over. What do I get rid of? Oh, man. How the heck do you get this under 150? Where do I skimp? Do I have to go to the cheapo cockpit? Uh, Alright, what have I missed that I've done that's expensive? Battery was 30. Which is the cheapest battery that seems to be available. Fuel tanks are cheap, but engines are expensive. I'm using the cheapest motor. <laughs> Do you use a rocket instead? If I take that off, take that off, take those off. Can I actually get rid of the... Yeah, I know a vehicle has to start somewhere. Does this work? Can this be a thing? I'm so used to having to put kerbals in things that I... This feels strange. Yeah, the challenge is endurance. I mean, it makes sense with it being an RC thing that you could do um, no cockpit, but I'm just so not accustomed to thinking about that. I'll do paint. I select a color. Oh. Ah. Top color, bottom color. That is hideous. Joe, why not? Let's do that. Uh, a cheapskate. <laughs> See if this thing works. Oh, dear. <laughs> This little motor really struggles. I'm nine over. Oh man. I didn't even look. Did I spend too much money on paint? Too expensive. Go in the drink. No, I assume the paint didn't cost anything. I was being facetious. What? 
What else? Yeah, what else can I drop? <laughs> I don't know. Do I do I have no tailplane? I don't think I put two batteries in it. No. Or did it? Did it? Because I turned off symmetry. Or at least I intended to. One hundred twenty-nine. Yeah, one hundred fifty-nine. The batteries are fifty, thirty. Sorry, that's I didn't put two of them on. Do the wings vary in cost as you change their size? No, just the flat per piece cost. I'm under budget now because I don't have a battery. Battery is somewhat important. Sticks off scaffold might be cheaper than full body parts. Oh, interesting thought. No, no, they are not cheaper. What about these? These are cheaper. Okay, so this is encouraging you to build the thing out of parts that very much look like balsa. Yep, it's wanting you to make a stick plane. Okay. Not where I was expecting this to go, but I guess that's where we're going. Uh. New part to be the root of the vehicle. A type T beam. There we go. We start with a beam. Grab a beam with a point. Then we get propulsion. A little motor. A little motor goes on the front. Prop goes on it. Wings go on here. Other wings go on here. And we add a battery to it. That was a good learning experience. Hundred and thirty six oh eight. See if it flies. Thanks, William Reed. Thank you for the twenty nine months. Zoom! Flies pretty well, actually. Less roll than you might want. Do I have enough money for some other control surfaces? Because I'm struggling to roll at all. There's 
now I am constantly leaning to one side. I think I can probably construct a proper tailplane. Yeah, the V-tail is probably... Oh! Hold up. I know the problem. I think the V-tail is not set up to actually control for roll. think. Oh no. Pitch 100%. And I want roll as well. Wait, no, is it just doing your and roll? What do these mean? It's doing pit. It's doing your and roll. Or it's just. Let's see what happens when I do this. So I'm getting control with pitch. Like as in the control surface is changing position when I do pitch and now when I do roll. There we go. That's what I needed to change. Thought that was the case. So one of the things that's quite clever about this, although my roll is back to front. One of the things that's quite clever about this is that it will automatically uh, pick which controls surfaces do what. Um, so that you don't end up with control surfaces doing things that you wouldn't want them to do. Uh, I want that going that way. Now let's see if I can control this in a way that makes sense to me. Yeah, look at that. Now, now that Q and E control the roll in the correct way, it all makes sense. Hooray! Okay, now. I can attempt this challenge. Where did my mouse go? Alright, so flight time on a budget. Flight time you need to do better than being in freefall. Uh, not sure exactly what that means in this context, but job. And away we go. Wait, does gliding not count as flight time? Gliding should count. The script multipl multiplier. I only get a one times because I was still quite expensive. Thrust to gain more altitude. Down to seventy percent charge, and we've already made pretty much a minute. At least learning this it means I can explain to Capac what to do when we uh, attempt to compete against each other on this one.
Yeah, I'm assuming that what it's... I'm guessing the gliding versus freefall thing. Gliding, you're still moving forward. I'm guessing that'll be the differential that it uses there. Forty meters up. No, a nose down free fall is just getting speed up so that you can glide further forward. <laughs> Isn't it? I don't know what the ceiling limit is. I should have done that in my high-powered plane and seen how high up I could go. I should also probably try and fly into the clouds. See what they look like up close. Thirty-five percent power remaining. Three minutes of flight achieved. Almost 400 meters in altitude. Uh, there is a range on the remote control, but in the mode that I'm playing right now, the range is basically the whole island. I think there are more realistic modes you can play or that they're planning to add. Uh, I don't know what they've stripped out of this beta release versus what's going to be in the early access release that comes out next week, I think. Uh, so I think there's there's more that there's more stuff to see later. Uh, more challenge uh, stuff, like realism sort of things, if you want them. Personally, I don't think I do right now. Uh, but I do understand why some people want that in a game like this. Oh, and the thing I said earlier about the... Um, I wouldn't want to lose complete control of my craft. What I was actually meaning was I wouldn't want to lose view of my craft. Suppose if you lose power and then you lose all your control surfaces and just free fall down. That's very different to, um... I think I misinterpreted what was brought up in chat earlier. Four percent. Three percent. Six hundred meters up. Clouds are trying to get away from me. Battery is dead. And we're gliding. It's amazing how flying like this just warps your sense of scale. Really weirdly. Oh no. Where's my camera up? Come on, get closer to the cloud. Catch up to the cloud. Maybe a seeker. Uh, we are playing Hit Hack Model Club. I am trying to fly a plane for as long as I can on a shoestring budget. Which is why it is made out of 
a stick of balsa wood with wings attached. RC club I was in once did an all-up last down event. The winner was in the air for over 30 minutes. Wasn't budget limited though. That feels pretty impressive. Especially since you don't have a nice free, a nice follow cam to use to fly your plane. Yeah, I can, ima oh, I can imagine the tedium of a half an hour trying to squeeze every little second out of it. Glide up as tight as you can and then try and... But I, I can imagine the tedium for people watching who don't understand it versus the um, rapt focus of the people who understand the technical skill that's going into just barely... Climbing as cheaply as you can and then gliding down for as long as you can. Very much one of those things that if you don't understand it, oh. Hard to watch for half now. Come on. Stay off the ground, stay off the ground, and that's it. Eight minutes. Not half an hour. I don't think I'll get half an hour. Not bad. Could have been worse. Uh, I'm going to wrap up the kit hack there. And uh, TFE and I, since Capac is away, we're planning on playing a little bit of Void Crew. How goes it, TFE? Yeah, pretty good. I still don't know what time of day it is, but it's all changing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm going to switch over. I'll be right back with some more Void Crew. One second. <laughs> 